I know a lot about both of these guys. I, I, I've been in the ring with, with, with both John Wayne Murdoch and Blake Steele. And uh, this is uh, quite a thing. John, John Wayne Murdoch, he's uh, sort of new to the proving ground, not new to you. But man, did he storm in here. He has made a serious impact since the day he walked through the door of the proving ground. He set his sights on Blake Steele. He feels like this is a guy that if you knock him off, then really the door's open here for you. I mean, knock him off, make him say I quit. There's really not much PGP can do to keep him out of a title shot in short order. Well, you know, when you, and when you, when you say a guy's been here, you know, your entire short existence, you know, you take that guy out, you take his spot. That means you know, more shows, more money. Exactly. You know? I mean, this is Murdoch sees opportunity dangling right here at Blake Steele. And I think, honestly, he sees a little bit of vulnerability in Blake Steele, too, because he has come off a couple of tough losses, like I said. And I think uh, Murdoch smells a little blood in the water right now. I felt like this is, the, this is the guy and the time to target to put yourself on the map right here. He's definitely going to, uh, this, this will definitely be a war between these two. Uh, oh, these are two of the toughest guys on the indie circuit right now, flat out. Both these guys are just straight, straight up badasses uh, in the ring. There's no two ways about it. That is why this is going to be quite something. That you can between these two guys, are you kidding me? I don't know what to expect except brutality and a hell of a bunch of action right here, and I can't hardly wait for this thing to get started. Well, rules, I ask you to quit. If you give up, you say yes, That's it. That's pretty simple for the referee. Anything goes other than an I quit. minds of the PGP faithful at this point. I'm not so sure he planned to or not, but uh, well, well, I mean, you know, this is this is not working out for him, man. You know, and and I, I'm being honest with you, I'm really not used to seeing this at 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 a, at a John Wayne. You know, down down in in the uh, IWA Mid South in, in Kentucky and area. You know, the guys beloved. Just came off a, a EPW Wrestling at Hardcore Harvest Deathmatch Tournament win. Um, oh, you know, he is a man uh, on the roll and a man uh, uh, An, a, an right amazing now. match with the IWA Mid South World Champion Congo Kong, who stands six foot four, four hundred pounds. You know, um, you know, I, I, I'm used to when he calls for the Murdoch chant that people chant Murdoch. You know. I'll tell you uh, what. He's earning the begrudging respect of the fans here as he's, like I said, he's kind of a short timer here. He's stormed in and he's thrown the rule book out the, out the window a little bit, Ian, and, and I don't fault a guy for that, but it doesn't always win those fans over quickly oh, either. Oh, no. And uh, they realize that he's a one double plus SOB, but uh, he ain't won him over as far as uh, loving him and wanting to see him win at this point. And you have the name Murdoch. You you, you 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 better be a tough sob. Beer drinking, cussing, fighting. Oh yeah. Long ask for a little more sob is what you need to be. Oh yeah. Murdoch. But I'll tell you what, Blake Steele, he's not going to come up short in that toughness category either. There's a guy that'll fight you all night long, also. He's got an and he's and he's working over this arm right now. I mean, he's got a game plan. You know, I quit match. 
you got to punish a guy and punish a guy and punish a guy and punish a guy until he just can't take no more, until he says, I quit. Now he's stepping over with this arm bar. Now, now, you're not a wrestler, so you wouldn't understand this. See, now he, Murdoch immediately had to get that neck out of there to keep it, that arm from being torqued. Oh. From being torqued. And now here on the floor, I think this is where the match takes Murdoch's advantage. Becomes Murdoch's advantage out here on the floor. You know, I think we're going to see a contest of this kind of trying to be Murdoch wanting to take it to the outside and Steele wanting to keep it in the ring for more of a classic right. match. We're right. going to see a guy trying to take it to the brawl versus a guy trying to keep it in that ring. I'll have probably maybe the most famous I Quit match of them all, Terry Funk ver versus Ric Flair. Loser leave town back in the old NWA days. Uh, you know, Funk was constantly trying to take the action to the floor and out. You know, while Flair, the technician, trying to keep it in oh, the ring. But look at Blake Steele. I'll tell you what. A little of that outside the ring antics kind of backfired there because Blake Steele just pitched John Wayne right off the stage, my friend. And I will tell you this. I'll give you a little heads up on the desk. Oh, the big they cross body. I will give you a heads up on this. Murdoch has been perfecting a submission hold down south in the Kentuckiana area just for this match. Well, I'm going to tell you what. He beat Gary J at our last match with a uh, Ko Kojima Clutch. The Koji Clutch. The Koji Clutch. That is what he took. Gary J, the vaunted Gary. The okay, vaunted okay, out. okay. I'll, I'll give you Gary J, double, tri triple, tough. But he took Matt Tremont out, the bulldozer Mount Tremont, to win the Hardcore Harvest Cup with the, with, with the Koji Clutch. So, I mean, he's got this whole perfected. And and right now, they're fighting all over this building. They're, they're, they they're back up in the, in, the, in the theater. Ian, a tour up the aisleway and towards the concession stand. I just hope they bring us back popcorn. I'd like some Reese's Pieces, please. I could swear I saw Slim Jims out there. Were there Slim Jims? I could go for a Slim Jim. Snap into it! Well, I'd like to be telling the fans what's going on up there, but I really can't, so I'm just going to hang out and tell you. I, whatever it is, has got to be brutal. And I'm judging for the crowd. They've made their way back in. Humbling Murdoch with a water bottle in. He's got him strung out over a movie theater scene and pummeling him. But he left himself wide open and Murdoch slipped in a big soup bowl right to the jaw. You know these road trips were a lot easier when I was 24 instead of 44. I tell you what, <laughs> I know exactly what he's talking about. Uh, but Murdoch back on top now. This thing's getting. It. This and thing's getting. Look get at him showing those children an up close picture of Blake Steele. Oh my! This thing's getting like an Olivia Newton John song, and it's getting physical. Murdoch is just stomping away. Blake Steele, though, uh, had his chance to uh, beg out. That just wasn't going to happen. Murdoch grabbed the house mic. Cut, cut the, the promo on a mid-match. Trying to get in the head of a Blake Steele with the mic. Blake will have none of that, but man, this is an absolute merciless brawl out there. Blake Steele, another guy here proving ground with a damn fine beard. As you were saying, he do have some epic facial hair in the proving ground. What is coming into play? A They've taken a cane away from an old man and are now utilizing it in this match, Ian. That is absolutely Whatever you have to do to make your opponent say I quit is what you got to do. <laughs> you cannot take one backward step.
Yeah. He has got that cane around his throat and dragging him up the aisle way. I'd make him my prison bitch, being honest with you. I'd just shove it straight. Never mind. And now he's got him into the steps. And climbing the steps. We're approaching the ring again. This is coming back up here, back on the stage, and back into the ring. You know, is this a mistake strategically by Murdoch? Ab Should he have kept it on the outside? Absolutely, probably. You know. Although, look here. There were no steel folding chairs out there. Especially not the old school kind with the wooden seat. Yeah, this, this, this is not, uh, this is not going to be for the, the faint of heart. Dear God. I'm not kidding you. I would already be grabbing the microphone and saying I quit. Kicked him right in that arm. Oh, but Blake Steele saw it coming. Cut Murdoch off on his approach to the ring. But Murdoch, wise to it, cuts Blake Steele back off at the pass. And what's he constructed over here in the corner? Looks like he's gonna and that's an ordinary chair. There's a metal bar in the middle of that. Somebody's head makes contact with that. We will see plasma. That is one wicked, evil chair. But uh, no contact. Blake Steele was able to stop himself. And a lucky thing, I think. Big European uppercut there. Oh, oh nobody home on a drop kick. I don't know Murdoch if he was affected by those chairs himself. or not. Murdoch needs to stop playing with the crowd and finish off Blake Steele here. What you said is uh, incredibly true. I think the fact that he just doesn't get that reception he's used to. Oh yeah, it bothers him. It, it bothers him. with him a little bit. I don't think he wants to care, but I think he cares. Because I'm telling you, down south, he's got the he's got everything from the kids to the rats, the the to the boys in the back going wild for him. Well, I'll tell you what, he's winning them over left and right up here right now as we speak. I mean, every every outing, every showing that he has here is. Uh, Big things, big impressive things. But Blake Steele, a nice guy, genuinely nice guy, you know. I'll tell you what, Ian. This recent oh, shin, shin breaker oh, there, yeah. and he, then he almost ate a leg to the ear. And almost the side of his head into that wicked chair to boot. Um, you know, I don't know, you as a competitor might tell me this. I've watched Blake Steele a long time, and he's had a bit of a losing streak here, and I keep seeing more aggression coming out of him, not the same old jovial guy. Hey, you start, guy. You start he, doing things when, when, when you're going. starting to, I'm not saying throw the rule book out the window, but I think there's a, a more of a ruthless aggression that keeps starting to show. Well, With Brady, when you setback. when you go to the pay window and there's a little less there every time because you're taking a loss and you're taking a loss, and you know, and and uh, he's a family man, you know. Uh, you know, you start hearing a little bit more from the wife, you know. Oh my! And I guess if you hear it enough, you might do something just like, like that. that, right? And he he shot John Wayne Murdoch into that into that wooden steel chair with that steel bar with every ounce from every beard hair to long hair going down his head that he could put into that. He put every ounce of beard power he has. <laughs> Everything he had. But, it, but let me tell you something right now. That shin breaker he just took right before that has taken a definite effect on him. That was a huge shin breaker and you ain't lying my friend. He is hobbling out after John Wayne Murdoch at this point. And that's not how you want to be approaching John Wayne Murdoch. No, uh-uh. You might as well be a little rabbit going past the rattlesnake hobbling. And that action has returned to the floor of this stage, and here comes Murdoch back. Murdoch hobbling a little bit, though. Oh, they've both taken some serious blows in this year. Rough fall through through the, those that? ropes there. Got that ring with a plan. He hurried back to it. He was uh, he had something yeah. on. There was no that wasn't a. And as you can see, he is uh, trying to construct something, a device of doom and devastation. I believe. I don't, I don't know what his architectural plan is at this point, but it looks painful and ominous. He's working over the thigh. He's working working over the leg. You know, Murdoch, famously known. 
uh, nowadays for the video that went viral. The oh, the, the Dixieland South Destroyer. Dixieland Destroyer. Yeah, the Deep South Destroyer off the roof threw four tables on Josh Crow. This, that's that's the move move that went viral on the internet. That's not going to help him in an I Quit match. No. That move will not help him in an I Quit match. Like Pounding a leg, right. beating a leg, taking a body part apart, piece by piece, from the tibula to the fibula to the femur. Oh, oh nobody God. home! Lord. Nobody home! Oh my God! You could hear the wood on those chairs cracking underneath the weight of John Wayne Murdoch. What a tactical error by Murdoch! Believe you me, the Duke is hurting right now. Oh my Lord! It's not the fall that gets you; it's the sudden stop at the And look end. at the leg on that steel chair. From the impact of, of the weight of Murdoch. Absolutely crushed. And why wouldn't it be? My God. What's going on here? We might have oh, a bar man. fight. Oh, and it's oh, a yeah. chair punch off. Headbutts. Slug fast. Oh, and up to his feet. Look at Murdoch sink that soup bone in there. And willing to cheat and stand up and get out of the chair. Oh, and he's bringing the chair. Oh, the plate still cut him off with palm strikes. Oh, and a big knee and a faithful chair for Murdoch. And a bulldog across the seat of another chair. But that's not going to help him. He's got to make him say, I quit. Well, Murdoch ain't going to say, I quit until you... Oh, Lord! Lord. Murdoch ain't going to dream of saying, I quit until you beat the holy hell out of him. Murdoch now bleeding from the leg. My God. Blake Steele drawing some plasma from Murdoch's leg. Blake Steele, does he have Murdoch where he wants him? What a maneuver. Murdoch is hurt, buddy. He's hurt. Blake Steele moving in. And oh, this is it. He's going to choke him out right here. I don't know if he's going to choke him out with this hole, but he's, he can definitely dislocate your shoulder blades with this. And that is not comfortable. He's double under. Back of his neck. He's double under hooked him. He's got a full body scissors on him. I got no idea how Murdoch is enduring this for as long as he did to find an escape. It's miraculous. He's fought his way back to his feet. I can't believe this. And look at these reversals. Oh, what a move by Murdoch. And that move will help him with the Koji Clutch, and so will that move! Fighting Spirit! Oh, sweet God! This is brutal! Blake still imploring Murdoch to just give up! And Murdoch, there he is. He shows no intention at this point. But honestly, I don't even know if he knows what's going on right now. I don't know. He's if hooked he this double under hook again in. He's got him off the ropes. What do we got here? Murdoch. Murdoch is resisting. Blake's looking. Looking. Normally being the ropes, the referee would be breaking this hole. Oh, and he's sinking those knees in and the ropes, and there's no way the ref's getting in there in an I quit match. Let's go! For Murdoch to give up at this point would be like tapping out the strikes. Hey, hey these people deal. are booing, but this is perfectly legal. Per perfectly Steel legal. Left himself open when you get yourself in this type of match, you have to protect yourself at all times. Absolutely. You can't fault the guy for anything. They both knew what they were getting into, and they walked into this match. They both knew what to expect. 
And they're both getting exactly what they expected. And that move there will once again, that move there once again, applied with a Koji clutch, will end this match. Both knees coming down on the collarbones, coming down on the shoulder, coming down on the neck. All those body parts are torqued when it comes to the Koji clutch. I don't know how his collarbone isn't just smashed right now. My God, how is, how is God, look at this, oh my Lord. Steel has to give up to you. Another, Christmas another shot this. to the sternum. And I believe a couple years ago, uh, uh, Steel suffered a broken sternum. So I mean, oh my God. is not looking out for his own welfare here. Either. That's for sure. He wants to win a match and doesn't care. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. John Wayne Murdoch is absolutely dissecting Blake Steel at this point. He is just cutting him apart with his chair. Well, he's already been cut open because of those chairs. Oh, those are vicious, vicious chairs. We immediately identified that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the legs are broken. The seats are smashed. The men are bleeding. I can't believe neither one of these men are giving up. And this match is still going. This is an absolutely epic I quit match. And what level does John Wayne Murdoch have to try and take it to here? What does he have in mind? What does he feel like he needs to do at this point? Oh, sweet Jesus, Ian, what's he doing? Oh, what? Oh, nobody home on that senton. What an opportune time for Steel to roll out of the way. Oh, my God. And he is crawling to the ropes. I don't think one of those legs is working under steel. I don't know how much of John Wayne Murdoch's working at all. Every, my God, both these men, it's like a car wreck. Looks like Murdoch might be bleeding from the side now. Being abused and screwed in this match. Oh! oh! Sweet Lord have mercy, what a smash to the face, two knees and a chair. God, John, maybe you should just give up. I don't want to see it, but my God, live to fight another day. Blake trying to get the people to rally behind him here. It's possible. I hear some claps in the crowd. They love Blake Steele. I, you know, I'm not going to kid you. I think they're getting a grudging respect for Murdoch out of this, too. As much as they wanted to hate him, they see how tough this son of a gun is, and this man is just amazing. Oh, oh, the leg gave away. I knew that leg was hurt. He, had, he was dragging it around pretty bad. But, man, what a what a strategic mistake to try and elevate Murdoch with that bad leg. Yeah, it's, it's just bowing in. Oh, Murdoch sees it, too. That's the way you got to be, though. You the Koji clutch. Koji clutch. Yes. 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 Blake yeah. Steele's got to give up. There's no escape from this. He's nowhere near the ropes. His leg's debilitated. He is absolutely locked into this. Calling for the crowd. He's, He's trying to fight out of this. He's trying to. Can he move that weight over? Can he lessen the pressure? Ian, is there a way out of this thing? Oh, yeah, there's a way out of it, but. It, 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 it's going to do its damage. Oh, he slipped in. And this is an I quit match. The ropes don't freaking matter at this point. It's your inclination to be near the ropes on a move like this. But it doesn't matter in this match. You're going to wrap your arm or your foot over it. Brian Fox can only say, do you give up? Blake Steele unresponsive. I'm not hearing a yes or a no or anything out of Blake Steele. What's going on here? Blake Steele is totally limp. 
this could be it. Maybe he's out. I think he's out. I don't think he's going to be able to say I quit. I think, I think, I think we're going to force the issue in. Is there anything left in Steel? Is he out? The birdie dude just threw in a towel. What's Jordan doing down here throwing a towel in? Absolute brutal I quit match ends in a little controversy here. Blake Steele never Blake says I quit. Never said I quit. Jordan saw that Blake Steele was completely unconscious, unable to say I quit, threw the towel in. What a brutal match <coughs> in and John Wayne Murdoch completely KOs Blake Steele with the Koji clutch. <coughs> absolutely. And I told you he's been perfecting that whole I'd over the last couple weeks. He's absolutely perfecting because look at Blake's look what that hole does when you don't get to break it. Man is unconscious. The man is out. I don't know about Blake Steele. I don't know about Blake Jeez. Yeah, I hope we can get him or there is some serious concern here. That is a serious, serious move that Murdoch has perfected in the coaching budget. What a brutal match! Both and and, men and before a and before war. he applied that hold, Blake Steele took some serious moves to the neck too. Oh, absolutely! Murdoch had a hell of a game plan for an I quit match. You can't fault him. You know, he looks like a beer drinking rowdy redneck, but. He okay, has some, yeah. He, has, <laughs> he, he may be all that, but don't sell him short. This man comes with a game plan. He's not just in there fighting. This man knows wrestling. He has a game plan. He's a Murdoch, for God's sakes. And Blake Steele, you know, his pride would not let him say, I quit. You know, but sometimes when you got mama and the babies. Him several shows. Yeah. That may have caused him several bookings right there. I don't know how long it's going to take to recover from this, Ian. There may be several promoters getting phone calls right now from uh, Blake Steele, Blake Steele's wife, saying, I'm sorry, I know he had that commitment. And, uh, and you know, I have to question, you know, uh, B.J. Whitmer has to take, uh, uh, B.J. Whitmer will take on John Wayne Murdoch tomorrow night at a show in Southern Indiana. I, you know, huge match for Murdoch against the Ring of Honor right star. Right, after yeah, after, after this I quit match, this. yeah. That's, That's coming, coming in behind, behind the eight ball against the veteran like BJ Whitmer. Absolutely. Both of these men will suffer from this match. 